Greetings and welcome to day three of my gaming advent calendar. I swore I'd never play this game, but there's only so many on the games pass that I've never actually played before. So hey, bugger, let's go. Let's try Life is Strange. I've been assured it's good, but we'll see. Okay, so apparently I probably should have logged into this beforehand. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about right. Okay. Oh god, it's not going to make me do accounts and stuff, is it? Greetings, Scott! How are you keeping? Hope you're keeping well, my dude. I swore I'd never play this game. That's why it's going to be really funny today. Now, oh, let me check the sound volumes because I'm going to need to do this at every game today. Just so I make sure you guys can at least hear what's going on. So if there's any time where I'm too loud, the game's too loud, you can't hear me talking. Greetings, Scott! You legend! Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. You are epic. Right. What's this? Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. Nim, how are you keeping, dude? Wow, everyone's turning up today. You all turn up for the crap game I never wanted to play. <laughs> no one likes the good games. Everyone wants to see me play the abominable thing that I swore I'd never touch. Anyway, right. But there's episodes? Is this one of those, like, Telltale games, is it? I thought it was just, like, some emo simulator or something. What size screen am I playing on? Am... Um, I don't know what to tell you about the TV that I have here that's like right in front of me here beside the computer. Uh, it's at least the 32. It's not a huge TV, but it's not small by any stretch of the imagination. It's your favorite, though. You actually like this, Nim, do you? Well, maybe it's good. Ooh, you were right, uh, Nim. That um, game you recommended... Uh... Oh, crap. What was the name of it? I can't remember the name, but I remember the fact that it's uh, it's pretty much Hotline Miami with better graphics. It is on the Deals of Christmas thingy. So it's reduced, so that'd be awesome. I got a first badge. Yes, you did. You're one of the first. I think it's like, what is it? The first 15 them? There's so many with you know, the first few people that sub to my channel. I don't got that many subs, so anyone would want a first badge. It's not that difficult. Although I very much appreciate it, Scott. Hong Kong Massacre, that's it, that's it. Alright, look, I'm blathering on. We'll get into our game here, shall we? Because this, I hope this is more enjoyable than I perceived it to be. <sighs> Life is Story is this, this game based on the features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Okay, fair enough. Kind of bought into that with Fable, but let's see. I joke, I haven't played. <laughs> you see? If you don't put a lol at the end, you can't tell you're joking, dude. Oh, sorry. Let's get going with your attack. And some teenagers, check. I just used to call this game SVW Simulator, so let's see how right or wrong I actually was. We'll see, I have no idea. It'll be fun, though. Where am I? Relax. I need the game. I'm trapped in a storm. I was right, How so. How did I get here? And where is here? Cool. Interesting to know I was right, eh? Wait. There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. Yeah, I think that's how that works. Please let me make it there. Who the hell are you? What's going on? Where's Slenderman? We're in the forest at night. Where's Slendy? Lighthouse. This way. I'm fairly certain you'd see the damn thing. You know, it's not like a lighthouse. There's a big beacon to tell you where it is. Another shot when it's on Game Pass. Yeah, do do. You may like it. It's not for everyone. But sorry, politically correct. It doesn't matter, man. No matter what you say, it's offensive. It's offensive. You're a straight white male. You're evil and going to hell. We have been judged and deemed unworthy. It's gonna be some SJW Donnie Dark up here, isn't it? Right. Look, it's a thingy. 
I'm fairly certain I've seen this crap at the start of Dar um, Destiny. <coughs> <laughs> uh, I have hospital tomorrow to see the results of my scans. Oh, please, dude. I'll get bigger and see if I'm going on here. Some holy shit, dude. Hopefully, all clear. We're hoping for the all clear, man. Fingers crossed, alright? Fingers crossed for the all good. Or at least improvement. The town is dead, look. Dull and bones. The town is dead. This caused all that damage, but this little chick's walking here, no problem. Okay. So, let me guess. Yeah, we're gonna sit in the bench and see how beautiful life is and turn it into storm. Yeah. Tumultuous storm, sorry. You'll have to forgive me, I'm literally dying sick, but the show must go on. It's the whirlwind that is my life. Uh. Well, that was a short game. <laughs> that was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? No phones in class. And. That Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless victims. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing ah, at me now. pretentious crap. It'll go great in a photography class. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. I can't believe I Seriously, still have this though, pencil case. I, I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. You need a 21st century pencil case? Me. What? I'm friggin' Isn't lost. Too, easy? too obvious? Uh, okay. What if oh, Arbus chose to capture yeah. people with the height? I haven't kept up with my journal as much no, as I should. No, what a lazy bitch. She had a brilliant eye. You can't even so write down your own thoughts. You're that self-absorbed you don't have time to record your eyes now. I'm not a big fan What's in of your bag? Work? Any drugs? Plus, I and I have to get my daily selfie quota. Wait, what? Me too, Victoria. Aim with the R and press H. He captured H, the essence of post-war beat what? America, and there was honesty about the economic my conditions. My little camera bag is battered, but still but kicking. Beauty in the struggle. You, you don't have beauty without a beat, which explains. I do love my analog camera. Analog camera. Oh, that picture makes me now. feel old. Of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Name the camera with Capturing the romantic and urban eight, solitude of selfie. the 20th century poet. Okay. You dig? Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Like Cocteau, he was a true oh, like this. man. And his famous self-portraits are famous early examples of it's that It's not a selfie with a Polaroid. God damn it. Love so much. The selfie. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of okay. course, as you all know, the photo portrait yeah, has been popular picture. since the early 1800s. That's the class I'd bully Your the teacher. Your generation was not the first to use <laughs> images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I wouldn't the really, I'm not that kind of dick. The portraiture clear. has always been a vital oh. aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Actually, the very first image was a self-portrait, but anyway. And it was done using giant mirrors, but yeah, you smart ass would know that. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. Uh. The daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s on. Like this game. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. Yeah. You can find out all about him in your textbook. Or even online. Yay! 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. That's it's a great weird exposure, and, and it can kickstart a career in photography. Sir, so Stella, I don't want to go anywhere Lisa, with you. You're a weirdo. Together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Ugh. All right. Now, where's a frying pan so I can go clock this teacher one? Here, right, pick up the chair. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. I thought that was Kate. Oh, I'm bad with soap operas. This is not going to go well. I know, Mr. Looks Duffinson. like my college. I just worked so hard <laughs> Does he? Shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who well, wins, Victoria is definitely is the class. <clears throat> I don't want anybody to feel excluded right. from this process. Speak. But I also Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old, old dude. dude I'm lecture, older than this guy. <laughs> but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? Well, we but shouldn't be aging myself like that. But then again, everyone in the chat knows me anyway, so it's no loss. To frame the world only the way you envision it. Oh my god. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Oh, such a pretentious prick. Oh, I've chatted to these guys before. And normally, if I have the energy, I'll undermine the crap out of them. But otherwise, I just want to slap a glass in his face. Right, anyway, yeah, whatever. Let's get the feck out of here, Max. Right. Turn off the lights when we go out. No. You nope, didn't tell me how that. cute I looked yet. I was about to. I know, that's what I'm telling you. She's the class. Mm -mm. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of chatting class. Stereotypical black mama teacher? Check. Ginger nerd with glasses? Check. Stereotypes much? I time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that God, so where made hard. this? Man, what happened to you guys? <laughs> you guys used to be cool, man. What happened? She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Don't nod entertainment. They were definitely not enough in the job for this, but alright, let's see. Yay, a theme song. So now I can't upload this to YouTube. Oh well. Here comes a copyright strike. Hey! Episode 1, Chrysalis. Ooh, even the names are pretentious. Where's my locker the only red one? I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. It's Imagine. like it was drawn in Photoshop. Or not in Photoshop, in paint. Totally Ruined, I know, right? Oh god, look at that! He's got his... Oh, geez. oh my god, this is like every cliché stereotype, isn't it? And they're meant to be progressive? Oh. Happy Halloween! He definitely stole plagiarizing noise for that poster. Ooh, people missing! Someone's missing? Can we help them? No? Yeah, I want to go look for this person. That's a way more interesting game. It looks like she's been gone for months. She ran away with one of the other teachers, didn't she? Rachel Amber! Oh, white trash much? Oh, God, can I turn off the music? Sorry, I just... that's... It's still loud! What? Oh, painful. They should just call it a sugar machine. Oh, that would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Yeah, it's called a shop, man. Fairly certain it's the hallway from the TV show Mr. Iglesias. He's with Fluffy! Music is mandatory to obtain. Oh, God. My type of music. <laughs> you see, I hope you're joking, Scott. 
Come on, you probably got a knife on your pocket, Max. Slap on a bit of Slayer there. We get this thing really going. Right, go hide in the jack. Standard bullied child behavior. We'll go hide in the toilet and wait for school to be over. At least you have an iPhone or whatever a smartphone is to play with. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Oh, that's not a meltdown, Max. Selection physics work well. Use the mirror, huh? Oh, use the sink. I'm gonna take a selfie in the mirror with the with the real life filter on the mirror. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. They do not dare tear that easy. I'm telling you. When a door closes, oh look, butterfly. Opens, it's a bit on the nose, like isn't it? Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Take the picture. I'm pressing the stupid button. Take the picture. Yeah, it's a butterfly. Can I take a picture of the butterfly? There we go. Quick. You got a few seconds. There we go. Jack Newton Noonan! Ah, oh, man! <laughs> Dang. That takes me back, man. <laughs> That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Aww, Just isn't that cute? You three. guys are meltdown together. Dude, this the lady. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Yes. So what do you want? Oh, God, she's I got blue hair. I hope you check hair. the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Uh, now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to if them. If you having a break, I'm going to blow up the school the and you're now. freaking them out. Leave them out of this and you're the bitch. good guy, huh? I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing He's around with. He's got blue with. hair. Quick, that. shoot her. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control exactly. me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk True. ass with that. Get that gun away from me, psycho. Yeah. No. No, double tap, dude. Double tap. You punk. You, thought you were a punk ass bitch. Pick the damn gun back up. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? Right, I'm stuck in friggin' Groundhog Day. I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back Yeah, it's here. Groundhog Day, so the SJWs ripped off Groundhog. Fantastic. Brilliant. I already heard this lecture. Is this the game? Is this the game? Like, now Kate is being hassled again. You just have to keep figuring, like, replaying and the same the trap until you figure rates. out how to actually solve it. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition it probably is. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go yeah. away. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? No, you can't reverse time, but we'll screw things up. Because of her image. She's a mutant. It's like the X-Men. Ah, uh, it's Groundhog Day meets um, 13 Reasons with a little bit of um, eternal sunshine thrown in, you know. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. Don't worry, Max. You just finally snapped. Because of her Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and when children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson She's asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does exactly. again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a oh. selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. But yeah, we're on the same track, Max. Nem. It's all of these As things rolled in. 
I know I'm not dreaming this. Didn't this get like a sequel and stuff? I can tell. It sold that well. Your generation so I can go back in time. I'm going to join the X-Men! Hey! That girl isn't dead yet. I have a license pending. The point can I save her? Come on, Disney to eat this shit up. Always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly. We've already got it in, eh? Just where work with now, those Max, in Kingdom Hearts. Wait, since you've captured our interest up. and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self yes. portraits? You told me a few minutes ago. I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save We want time again. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally We go back in time and give all these kids Sundays. parents condoms. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again beginning? and give him the right answer? This is, this is this just braid. Isn't that what happened? Braid just made you do this. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. There we go. It'd be very easy to pass tests like that, wouldn't hugely it? hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Why is the hey teacher brown nose and mouth? This is all weird. The everyday heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the oh, art like world. It. It's great exposure Dude, and it can kickstart a career stop being that creepy so teacher. Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. You mean a working class hero? It's a John Lennon song. Quit being a... Okay, I have to stop getting angry at the fictional character. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Okay. Give him the picture. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once See? said that life oh, is what happens God. while you're busy making other plans. Oh, so self-referential. Go oh. Don't let me stop you. Oh, God. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, this, can I talk to you This game will do my head in if yes. I finish it. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's yeah, future yeah, stars yeah, yeah. avoid handing in her No picture. wonder it says skip. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're oh, on fire today. God. Oh, Mary Sue, do 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 Mary Sue, do 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 no wrong, do 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 no wrong. Mary Sue, do 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 Mary. I'm gonna get banned for this shit. Oh. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Run, bitch! Please. I can't tell anybody. Run! Where's the run? Right trigger, of course, man. Don't be a dumbass and actually read the screen. Run! Okay, where's the blue-haired chick? Don't go into the bathroom, you crazy bitch. What's that got to do with anything? Now don't hide, we'll stand outside the bathroom and wait for her to show up. It'll be like any minute. Is this real time? Run, it's got <laughs> I can't let that girl die in the bathroom. Yeah, that's fine. That's why we're standing outside the bathroom and waiting to prevent her going in. Where is 
Yoshi. Wow, identical girls walking. There's it, Zac Efron. Raid, Scottish Geeks, party of two, welcome, welcome. Watch me slowly go insane. <laughs> Into the women's. There's a lot. <laughs> That's a good one, dude. What the hell? Where is this blue hair bitch? Oh, God. I'm going to go into the bathroom. She's already going to be dead in the floor. Okay. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face. God, do we have to do this every time? I shredded my photo. Then the told you it was an alien. flew in. E? And I took a photo. I had to play it because this one's going off Xbox Game Pass soon. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am. Nathan, chill the fuck out. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that Ever. thing down! I'm too scared to get near this psycho. So Jesus Christ, then what's the point? Control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this. I need a hammer to break it open. There's a mop. Ever even missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Too late. Holy shit, I can't uh. let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Would they? Get... Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, Crap puzzle. freak! Near is bad. No, it's not intriguing, Derek. It can't be. Another it's already driving day. me nuts. Uh, so name one of those newfangled gender-neutral bathrooms after happen. we have an art college in Limerick. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going You're on? You're crazy, bitch! Do not. He's one of the X-Men. Out. Um. <laughs> yeah, they'll all be all about those gender-neutral bathrooms until there's an assault in one, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, gotta be progressive, though. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. It's probably true. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah, he's an alcoholic white beaten son of a... You can tell from that security guard, the face on him. He's a white man, so he's obviously evil. Now go tell the principal what happened like a good little tattletale. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Oh. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be... Tell him, we could finish this game in like 15 minutes. Or have you Mom. done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max... Talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished They're usually family, the ones that commit the crime. And one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is serious charge i'll look into the matter personally thank you for bringing it to my attention that's it after what i told we'll you we'll continue this discussion later in my office please go outside with the rest of your class I think this is all progressive and stuff but yet whenever we say the white kid that's crazy has the gun they don't do believe anything, him since the prescott family owns blackwell now 
Should I rewind and change my story? Uh, there we go. You look a little stressed out. It's a drug. Are you thing. okay? I'm. Is that the point of the game? Is it meant to drive you nuts? My future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Yep. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Yeah. Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like She's a zombie. Drugs. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's if this that is team SJW again, you know, I've, I've heard in the game, I don't just think I don't know what goes on. White kid had a gun. You've game over. Way he weeks, goes to jail. Everyone is causing happy. conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class, please. If you keep rewinding this, you'll forget what bloody no, choices you actually made. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Does she not have a power bar on this? Like, seriously. But she's gonna to go to the hospital, and it's gonna turn out she's got some kind you of weird brain aneurysm. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm. I'm, I'm telling you. Just a little worried. She's not about like there's something. It's either some balls. weird magic Is power, or she's hallucinating about? everything, and none of this actually happened. Max. There's the end of the story. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. We're gonna report Nathan. We'll go with that one. She's hallucinating I everything, or Prescott it's magic. Waving a gun around. Yeah, and none of this actually happened. Room. And judging Prescott. by the fact that the sequel is sure? about her? Yes, he was in the bathroom talking to himself <sighs> with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, so slow either, down. Like, it's going to be slow a case down. of like none of this so actually happened at all. That's, my money's on that. The more I, I say about it, yeah, it's going to be... I have None the right of this to be there. Happened. It's the girl's room. I know, I know. I just well, want to be guys? clear what Magic happened. powers didn't happen. Mr. What do you reckon? One magic power, two didn't happen. Distinguished family. Stand off, I want to see. one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. Tell her about the blue hair chick. Blue hair chick gave out saying they need money because they were dealing drugs. And then, this is... Come on. Serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Okay. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later my in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. This action will have consequence. Apparently everything we do will have consequence, so it doesn't matter. One, reason, video game. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. I mock it, but the art style is actually quite interesting. I do like the look of the game, because, like, if you've done other games, like, for example, I joke about the X-Men, but imagine you'd like an X-Force game, or something like that with teenagers in high school and all like that, and done it in a nice art style with this engine. You could do it fairly quick, and it wouldn't take long to render or do the character models or anything, you know? come to the front office. Thank you. Uh, so, there's Nathan, anyway. He's going to get off because the family's going to donate a library, and that's all as well. There's coins in the fountain. Don't be that chick. Don't be the person that fishes coins out of the fountain. No. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening. Will you get the one keeps rewinding time? And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. Hopefully not. If I have to go through that but class again, I'll lose my shit. Me, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind. Magic! Time. So there has to I'm be a reason. The bird to poop in the statue. And I have to find out why. 
Your mutant powers are activating, Max. You are the chosen one. I, Charles Xavier, I'm here. <laughs> oh, God, it's the music. I swear to God, I keep on. I want to bash my head into the table. I need there's so much padding on this mask, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> Can I move? Oh, E get up. Yeah, that would have made sense. Let's see what the sassy black mama has as the advice. She's always the one. Ms. Grant. Miss Grant's always gonna have the best advice for the game. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me oh, out? She refers to herself in the third person. I love it. I love it. Sure, I always have time for you. Yep. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. That's crazy. I get why schools should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope. And it's up to you and your classmates Are to you in stand college up. Or high school? What the hell? Blackwell Academy has a noble oh, it's heritage. One of them posh from the school. Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in Oh yeah, sure they did. <laughs> yeah, the pioneers shared it in peace with the Indians, didn't they? You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus... Wait, I came up to talk to you outside school and I'm getting homework? What a bit! Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell oh. for a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no one cares. I better read Warren's text before he blows my oh. phone up. How do I pull up my phone? Ah, here we go. Holy crap! Can't get my flash drive. Uh, sorry, running late. Whoa! Did the team's freaking. Do you guys text this fast? What the hell? Okay. Um. What the hell? Oh, it's her 18th birthday. Check your account. Oh, God. What do you do? Venmo, you friggin' money or something? Happy birthday. Yes, she turned 18 and got her magic powers. Yes, yes, they You know, they really do. Oh, like, literally, you get me. Good? No. No, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that. Where the hell is the dorms? It's the academy. Open my journal. Okay. Ray, your journal's flipping you off, you dumb son of a. Okay, yep, that's everyone. Dave, which means security dude. Hey, where's 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 the science chick? Save files, something, prologue. Oh, crap, you can redo chapters. That's not happening. Where's my dorm? Map, hello? Okay, wait, there's a signpost here. Maybe we'll get it sorted. Dorms, fantastic. I was going the right direction. Come on, Max, run! Run, Max, run! Oh, Lord. Who the hell laid out this thing? Look, that specifically pointed me down that path, which, oh, God. Ugh. It's like being at UL. And tiny keyboard. <laughs> I know, that's right. Go to the dormitory. Invisible wall. Invisible wall. Come on. Into the dorms. Oh, God. Oh, come on, lads. You're letting the college side down. What happened to Animal House? No? Oh, they're hanging out in the stoop. So edgy. Oh, so much edge. Oh, I'm going to cut myself. <laughs> Get it. Ugh. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. 
Hey love, you might be edgy there Alyssa, but that hair dye is bad for the environment. Move, bitch! Get out of the way! Get up. Back! Ice back? No. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield. The I knew a Max Black. Caulfield, actually. No, never for you. I wonder if you would have felt Max Caulfield. Even Mark, Mr. Mm -hmm. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> bullshit, if she really thought that, she'd be asking her for some. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Step over them. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out. Yeah, of kick her way. in the face. Kick her in the face. That's the first and last time I expect to you hear that. You rewind time and tell her to go laugh herself. Come on, you've got angsty girl power, so you can go back and tell her to go laugh herself. Keep walking, hippie. What? Just kick her in the face. Come on, Max. You're a wily little yoke. You can take all None three of them. shall pass. Oh, Capiche? Lord of the Rings reference. Ooh, so cool. Step around her and crush that bitch's hand on the way past. Do you understand English? Get lost. The fact that you have to get lost really annoys me. You should be able to boot her in the face. Gotta grab the gun off that douchebag. <laughs> what the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Jill, Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. You spent that money I on can't a cardigan, even chill you're an idiot. The steps. <laughs> exactly, that's what I'd have done. No. Oh, great. This is going to fall and kill someone. Turn the sprinklers off so I can go back into my dorm and we can ignore all of this. Wouldn't she walk or look like a superhero? Just walking past, like, catching stuff that's randomly dropping, catching people that are going to fall, you know, all this stuff. It'd be crazy. Awesome. You'd be a superhero in, like, three days. It's deadly premonition or some shit. Final destination, huh? Okay, now. How are you now still you blocking the door? Get lost. Okay, give me the fucking paint can, right? We're going to sort this shit. Pardon me. I must have missed something. I should rewind. I must have missed something. Missed what? Was I meant to go somewhere else and do something else? Damn, I missed something. What? I better rewind. I didn't get it. What am I meant to do? They're still on the stoop. <clears throat> He's gonna go up there. Nice. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Hint, hint, use the sprinkler valve. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Yeah, didn't I use it? Apparently I can't use it now. This main sprinkler valve looks okay. easy enough to use. <clears throat> He's already put that up there. Yeah. They're still sitting here. What the hell was I meant to do? Nice, Can't talk to random jock dude. I think I broke the game. None of the options are working. 
I must have missed something. I should rewind. See, this game would drive me demented. Meant to Jimmy Rigger. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, now I get you. This is far more sinister. At least that does it. Sweet. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. But I'm getting that feeling. Then maybe, just maybe, it might be you. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look. Great. I can't even chill on the steps. Awesome. No way! No fucking way! <laughs> hey, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, we're sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get he's some towels. We'll be right back. But yeah, he's so move your ass weirdo. before I dry. <clears throat> it worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Theoretically. Nice, bro. Yeah. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say oh. a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. <laughs> now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. Yeah. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have. No, we should have. He deserved it. Tamara's a bitch. What's with the fucking music? Damn. Bedroom. Oh, look, it's a Shining reference. Oh, God, this game's just going to be full Victoria of that crap, isn't it? Pissed we took so long. Julia, read this week's edition of the Black... Oh, God. missing person, is she? This girl must have been popular. She's No, she was everywhere. popular. She wouldn't have missing. Where the hell's my room? We'll buy <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Max's room. Ooh, ooh, can we look at the slate? How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing oh, to draw say. draw something. Could have drew Meat Boy. Oh, gosh, she's got a guitar. Home sweet oh. home. My favorite cocoon. Stereotypical college home. That's a nice couch. Do -do -do. One from Mom. Actually, the prince sent an email saying that you told some tales about Blackwell Honest and is it true? The principal. Uh, said this was a serious false charge and he's willing he's worried you're telling stories call me so we can talk about it can, can you can you call your mom no just gonna be an angsty teenager and not do that no warren even left me a little message with his flash drive he's such a goofball apparently warren's got a bit of a crush on her <laughs> Graphic life of Wait, didn't I read it? Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. Oh, it didn't count. He's such a goofball. There is no way a chick like that's watching Cannibal Holocaust. Bonus well, points if you've seen that movie, by the way. Power strip look. Okay. 
The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. No one cares. I don't want to play the hi-fi. I don't want to hear the music that comes out of it. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse yeah. it'll be. But call your mom. You're it facing is. serious criminal charges. Use computer. I look so pathetic. Legally not Facebook? <laughs> Legally distinct from Facebook, anyway. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. <sighs> Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Yeah, he's got a serious crush on you. Okay, come on. Look, plant. Wasn't that it? We were just meant to get the hard drive and like go out. Get the hard drive and then like meet him at four. I need to grab the flash drive on my desk before I see yeah. Warren. Yeah, where the hell was it? Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. I borrowed your dress so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Who? What did she say her name was? Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. I can bet she's drunk. She's always drunk. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Rage and alcoholic, that one. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Yeah, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Uh, ouch. How did you find out? You uh, why out, do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Crap. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Can I just get my flash drive, you crazy bitch? Note to Max. It pays to remember names. I forgot we could rewind time. <laughs> I pick Mason, too. Hey, Juliet. Is... Oh, yes, Max. I've locked... Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Her tone's different. That's a bit weird. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. Uh. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her Leave room. me alone, Max. Get oh, a clue. Right, now we have to find Victoria's room. Conveniently open. Now we're playing friggin' Batman detective, huh? We've got someone with their fancy big TV. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure.
Now, boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. How do I do that? Where's the printer? That's convenient. Do you for uh, printer? Ah. I missed an option on this to print, didn't I? Funny. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I'm gonna run into her now on the way out. Ugh. Right, come on. Let's get this over with. I'm already bored to tears. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. Yeah, girl, I owe like you that. dinner. That's Still a lovely. lot more of a bitchy and conversation. And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. <sighs> you set me free. You set Thank me Thank you. Free. Warren's flash drive yeah. is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me you in my room. You're just gonna spend all day in your room anyway, Real so mature. does it matter if you were locked in? Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Dude. Zachary it should worry fun. too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has yeah. been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, Wait. nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Yeah, where is it? Pregnancy test. Lovely! Don't nosy into anyone else's business. Just take the flash drive and get the hell out of here. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Did she make another Lord of the Rings reference? Oh, God. Oh. This game's getting deleted, guys. Seriously. Don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. You can count all the cars. Oof. Gotta love a gotta go crushing a girl. Here, check this out. It's cannibal holocaust. <laughs> Them damn kids. <laughs> exactly. Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. This shit. I was literally standing right in the way. Hey, Alyssa, move. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Did the purple haired chick sound a bit slow to anyone else. That's not fair, man. Where's the car park? Storm Field Main Building. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and That's leave me alone. Please. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Picture's worth a thousand words. 
Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between nah. the two. Oh. Friggin' painful. Chapter one, finished. Nope, currently not. Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. Welcome to the real world, Max. Yo, Max, check it out. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Aww. Thanks. He was no going problem. in for the hug and denied. Denied. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburg just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? So retro and edgy. It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to Time people up. here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself <sighs> a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. <laughs> Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Hey, the even the SJW one's taking the piss out of Twilight. Too. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass uh, down? If I was uh, lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual cringy. movie this week. But you seem uh, distracted. I need to talk to somebody. Just to uh, get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren. This is between you and me. Not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. <laughs> I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? I'm done with the fourth wall. You're the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries though, <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! There's a salt. Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait in the down. bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! 
get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! But she didn't know we're in the bathroom, but she knows her now. There you go, Nick. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. Yep. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Yeah. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Who's Mark Jeffers? Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher? Not your best friend. <laughs> Don't you think I'm happy to see you? <clears throat> no. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Oh, don't she does. Use them on me, Max. She does. <clears throat> Got the edgy arm tattoo and all. Cereal? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Oh, it sounds like somebody pitched the TV show while I just wrote this. It's weird. Come on, can we finish this damn chapter, or is it going to be like six months longer? Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. 72 hours, you better be shy. I know you're joking, but you mightn't be. Oh, Lord. I just want to finish the damn chapter. God damn it. Oh, the music again. Oh. My room looks a bit different than the last time Seems you saw like it. like a man, yeah. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. It won't play without any power. I really don't want to turn this on. It's gonna suck. Houston, we have the power. But we need to find a disc Yo, to Yo, Chick, you got any Slayer? I think this junk swallowed her discs. Oh, you ain't got a Bluetooth connector for that? I can clearly see lots of them here. 
So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Yeah, it was probably our gender fluid girlfriend or some crap. Two hours! Are you kidding me? How long to beat? Ooh, I need to. Hey, Nim, can you post that in my Discord? I need to do that because I've, I've actually wondered that about certain things in the past and that would have been quite helpful. I think this junk yeah, swallowed you keep her disc. looking. How difficult is it to grab stuff that, like, you know, put on music? We had such a blast drawing these together. She doesn't care, you're just rummaging around the room, huh? Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Didn't happen. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. Eh. Is this a desk or a storage space? Stop with your inner monologue and talk to her. Hey, chick, where's the music? So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? I don't feel grown-up. Just more confused as I Message. get older, especially after today. Gee, thanks. I was hoping to hear something positive. About me? No, about me. Duh. I thought you'd at least be happy taking photos. Forget it. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? I take photos of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. We shall see. Ugh. I'm never gonna find this damn music. Maybe it's, it's trash. Maybe it's in the trash. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? Every American she teenager. She does love trouble. Ugh. There we go. We got a disc. Finally. And it's the missing chick because it was her girlfriend. See? There we go. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. So, who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my... Hold angel. It. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. Reason number 356 to escape. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Good Without me. 
What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Ooh. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? I swear to God my estrogen levels are rising playing this game. Ugh. I'm gonna have to play Doom all night just to balance it out. God, no, what's this trash? Yep, this game is exactly as bad as I thought it would be. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe. This is why she's okay? smoking, but you look so Sure, mad. I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. This is some weird shit. <laughs> okay. Keeps calling the dad a Nazi. Is he actually a white nationalist like her? Is it just that she hates him because he's strict? You can never tell. Ugh. Yeah, that's it. Go through other people's mail. That's, like, normal. Journal. Crashed. That was really not cool, Max. Could have helped me out. Sorry, Kate. I chickened out. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Not gonna find him in that. Chloe's stepdad is head of security oh, at Blackwell. It. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school. How paranoid can you get? Complicates matters. Brilliant. Love it. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell. You've got to be shitting me. I think I opened those me. doors in the wrong order. Gun case. Not secure. Fantastic. Good man. Shouldn't be shooting in the house. Fantastic. There's two felony charges right there. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. He's not going to be the kind of guy that has that stuff. These are the same kind of tools you need to fix a computer. That's not going to... He, this friggin' gearhead doesn't have that kind of stuff. Corned beef. Crackers, lovely. Don't be looking through people's files now. Uh, hunting trophy. Well, that says it all. Why do you have food in the garage? That's a bit weird. Is that weird? Weird to me. Maybe it's an Irish thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Nothing. This is so lame. You're gonna nosy through the laptop, of course. No password. Kind of like, like a pantry. Help me find tools anyway. But it's not a yeah, kind of like a pantry. But like, there's got to be some safety issues with it being around the car that's spitting out carbon, carbon monoxide and shit. But I don't know. Trust me, these people don't exactly seem sanitary. I wouldn't trust it. Wait, highlight that thing again. And searching that. What about this one? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Turn it off and close the door. Yeah, he don't got tools. Can I not just go back up there and tell her he ain't got tools? Boom. Precision screwdrivers. How the hell are you going to get those? Except I can't reach them. Turn on the washing machine make it fall down, huh? 
Now catch. Catch. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Let's see. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Brilliant. You should have put your hand Brilliant. out to catch them like I was telling you. No, no, no. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Oh, those are just rewind a bit further. I went the back a bit too far. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Where he's gonna put the cameras, of course. Those are covered. Those are covered. There we go. No. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. I mean, this would actually drive me demented if I could play a whole game like this. I don't know, maybe if you were invested in it, maybe. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. And the rest of the game glitches. You found the tools? Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Da da da. It's like I'm interacting in some kind of teen soap opera. Ugh. What do you guys play reckon? Are you more inclined to play it or less likely after this? <laughs> so everyone's falling asleep at this point. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Are you shitting me? That asshole's everywhere. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared, too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's yeah. been that and kind one of One quick thing. YouTube search so will figure that out, man. you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Absolutely. Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. How scary. Who did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. 
The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash from Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. That explains why she's here. Okay. Thank God. <clears throat> I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. Today, actually. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it. And now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, That's I'm fucking insane thrash. in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> That's thrash, is it? Animation could use work. Bit of mocap there. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that? That's not punk. Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Go to the bed, no? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm... Stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. He'll totally see you there, but whatever. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. You're not in combat, son. Step down, soldier. Take your damn meds. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now. Ooh. Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. By the way, I have proof you got all up in Kate Marsh's face today. Surveillance proof. What? You best stay out of my work. Then stay out of my life. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. <laughs> hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bro. Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway... Let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? Yeah, that's a bad reaction. A guy with PTSD and a gun problem? That's paranoid? Yeah, you don't want to get in that. <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna finish this up soon, guys. I just, I don't know. We will see. Well, that could have escalated a lot worse. But that was enough to be edgy without going too far, you know? They don't want to risk two bits, but they want to put in enough edge to make it, you know, kind of... Ooh, this is a serious storytelling thing. No, it's not. It's a cliche. Oh, ooh. It was fine when it was blurry. It didn't need that pop in of texture. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? A dream. It was all a dream. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Yep. I have a weird feeling we're going to go up here and the whole thing's going to go to shit. Is that it? Like, this is where she dies and that's why you feel like your, like, world ends or something? <coughs> Step away from the logs. Check for more on these. <coughs> Lovely. Keck. She said Keck. Oh... Why can't I walk around that? I can clearly walk around the rock. Birds are so lucky. They can always yeah, escape. Yeah, not really. I'm not going to get caught. Oh, so this is where the teenagers come and hang out and shit. Man, I should have helped Chloe. I feel so bad. No. Uh, what are you going to do? Step in and beat her dad's ass? Her stepdad's ass? Yeah, that one. How long has that been Probably here? a while. Look, can't walk through this even though it's a shrubbery. We have a place kind of like this where I live, but uh, no, no lighthouse and it's slightly closer to the water. <laughs> sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. I'm sorry I wussed out. No worries. I know my step dork can be scary. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. I felt. We are taking his phone. Five cans, Kate, exactly. He was such <laughs> a bully. Yes, he is. But why was he bullying Kate? She's kind of boring. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? I wish. You know I would have read them. I'd love to. They must be important, or he wouldn't hide them deep in his garage bunker. He kind of creeps me out. I bet the truth is out there in his files. Most likely, but it's good you didn't find his files. He would go ballistic. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. <clears throat> Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. Creepy. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. That's every small town, though. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. 
I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. What are you going to do? Pop a cap in his ass? Let's call the police. Screw that. You already told the principal and I'm sure it's useless. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm uh. still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny? Ugh. Swear to God, I'm gonna become a woman by the end of this. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. <laughs> I miss her, Max. I know him, right? Go on. This shit pit has taken away everyone Tell I've ever Louisa. loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking Yeah! Nukes. Now we're talking. Get the nukes. Is this the boss fight? I have to fight her alter ego. The id. And the super ego. That's it. I'm gonna do it. The id, the ego, and the super ego. Find the fight. Let's go! Run, run. Is Chloe still up there? I have oh, to find God's out. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, so we're to, oh, okay, we're doing this, huh? You see, I knew this was gonna be annoying when I seen those logs. I knew something was gonna happen. Can't walk around the tree, no? That's just an impossibility? No? Can I unfell the tree? Run! I'm holding down the run button, you can still run with your hand up. This is going to be painful. So it is a boss battle, kind of. Follow the deer. It's just kind of alive. Now watch. Do the logs coming down. Sit. I've never seen a storm like and this. For some reason, she can't step over those two pieces of paper on the ground. And then we're going to go back to the very start of today, aren't we? Oh my lord! The tornado is back. Bye bye, boat. I thought I said Nathan, not me. Oh, okay, we get to find out the date, huh? October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. So, time to go on holiday for a few days. Oh no. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Let it burn. Let it burn, we can watch it all go to hell. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real, it's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? <laughs> Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. 
Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. Really? People don't have those powers, Whoa. Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. Bazinga. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <gasps> Whoa. It's because I sang Frozen, what isn't it? What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like <laughs> 80 Snowflake, degrees. Yeah. Every one of you. How? Climate change. Climate change. See? Or a storm is coming. <laughs> God, this is too much. Max. This is so on the nose it doesn't realize it's hitting itself on the nose. Tell me everything. Oh, that's fucking painful. Ugh. Dang. I know, right? <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely like the end of the chapter or something. In one, an hour and 45. We're close enough, two hours, yeah. If you dicked around a little bit, it was probably two hours. I just skipped through as much as we could, huh? So, these are all the choices we made, huh? Congratulations on surviving a chapter. At least in the horror games it says that. Oh. 78% of people made this choice. There. Ugh. Crap, yeah, I did do it. Oh, well that was painful. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh crap, I got the cheap for shit. Okay, uh. Okay, screw that. On to face cam, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that, because. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I need to. Oh. Wow. That hurt me. That hurt me. This is coming from a guy that loves playing Dark Souls. <laughs> it's on your perm to record now. Yeah, it is, man. I hope you all enjoy that because, holy crap, I have more to go through. Yeah, so, day three, huh? Day three of our advent calendar. I, I, I hope that's the worst out of the way. You can't get much bloody worse than that. I swore I'd never play that SJW Nightmare, but there we go. We've all done. Uh, gonna have to go play some Doom now. Eat some red meat. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. See you. See you, Nick. I'm gonna nope out of this, guys. All right. So we'll be back tomorrow. Same bat time. Same bat channel. And oh God, I hope the random number gods help me, and the next game's better. All right, guys. Thanks for dropping in. See you.